What's up guys, Chris Blackmanoy here and I'm back with another video. Continuing on with these like dead stock shoes that are well like the Rose 2s are the ones that weren't really dead stock, but dead stock, but they weren't really dead stock because you know I've worn them once. And dead stock is when any time I the box and it's not dead stock. So you know there's these things and there's this one thing and if you don't do this and you don't do that and it's like that. Anyway, go to the bowls locker, gonna pull out another shoe. Um right here. Uh, it's a dead stock shoe. You know, well it's not really dead stock because it, I'm I'm gonna stop for for the people that I just annoyed. Trust me, I'm stopping. But you know the dead stock shoe is. Anyway, look at <laughs> it's a Rose Three guys, and it's the Michigan Avenue Rose Threes. And uh, this shoe was the last Rose Three I got. I had the Brenda's. I was like, I'm good. I don't need anyone. Wait, wait. I didn't get the Michigan Avenues. I'm not done yet. So I took myself on the eBay. Uh, when I went on eBay, I searched, and I searched, and then I stumbled upon a pair of Rose 3s. It happened to be a pair of Brenda's, and that was all I was looking for. But, in the background, uh, I saw a picture of some Michigan Avenues. So I went and I uh, clicked on this box, and I looked, and sure enough, it was sunk a size 10. And the 3s, I was like, uh, I think I'll buy those. I offered him uh, 50 bucks, he's on me 30, plus shipping, equal 50. I was like, hey, work out for me. How would have this shoe? This shoe, put it this way, like when I comes to like the Rose Threes that I own, I'm not really sure which one's my favorite. You got the Nightmares, you got the Brendas, you got the Throwback, well, you got the you know, the South Sides or the, the Fresh Princess, whatever you want to call them. You got the Alternates. You also have the Chicago Fires. But then you got these. This shoe just okay. One, I want you guys to look at the detail on this white pattern on the upper up here. Look at that. That's that's just really nice. The Rose 3, you know, was the first D-Rose shoe, just for a little history lesson for the guys new to the channel that haven't seen a Rose 3 before in years. The Rose 3 was the first shoe to launch the D-Rose line, the line that had a D-Rose logo and that took off the Adi Zero name in front and just put the Adidas Rose marking on the shoe. It also was the first shoe to bring back the three stripes to going up the heel like this and transition to the bottom, but this went all the way throughout the bottom of the shoe. It goes north to south because that's how Tom Thibodeau wanted D-Rose to travel on the court from north to south, not... You know, no no other types of lines. You want to go north or south, just, just go there, come back. Go there, come back. Simple as that. You get the D-Rose logo here on the tongue. This is the first shoe that I ever had that on there. Now, the great thing about this, guys, is that, you know, this logo has gone on the spawn and be on the rest of the shoes. And now, actually, the Rose 5 is going to be on the heel in place of the three stripes, which is a pretty cool thing. So you got the three Rose Pels represent Reggie, Dwayne, and Allen, his three brothers. And the one in the center represents his mother, who's number one in his life, his jersey number, his draft pick, and we'll just leave from there. You got the D inside the middle, it's a D inside of a rose. Oh my god, it's a D rose! Really? And then you also have uh, the name, you know, the rose. This was the branding that you saw for the first time on the rose 2.5s that was on the front of the tongue with the three stripes equal in the E. You see Adidas doing this a lot with uh, different players' names. That their last name ends in an E, they'll change the the E to the three stripes, or a John Wall, different things like that. You know, so, somebody incorporate the three stripes into the shoe. Now, on the back of the tongue has a bunch of facts about uh, Michigan Avenue. When it comes to, uh, I want to see here. It's the where's the it has 41 degrees, 50, 53, 22.44 to, to negative 87 degrees. 37, 25, and then one point, uh, or maybe I think that's commas, that's ones, 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 tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, so one million, I think the one million represent the number of light bulbs on there, and the center it's like a basketball too, and it has, uh, the moon and the stars and stuff, and just representing different facts about Michigan Avenue in Chicago, before anyone gets this confused. You have suede on the toe box, which is very nice, mixed with this uh, like synthetic leather upper. You got the Adidas logo here on the front as well, and the uh, insole on the inside is just like uh, on all the other Rose threes that came out, just says D Rose on it, which is pretty cool. My Coach compatible, second Rose signature shoe that's been My Coach My Coach compatible. Uh, the first one being the uh, 2.5s. Also, this carried on having the. Uh, Geofit ankle pillows along with a spread web upper, which is all the what's beneath the synthetic leather. EVA foam, not boost. <laughs> just you know, another little fun fact we can throw in them three stripes in the back just 
All the colors in this shoe is very nice. I really like this shoe. It's clean. And now that I finally did a review on it, I'm on DSing it. The other rows, the first ones, I probably won't ever on DS those. But this, those twos, which aren't really DS, this and a couple other ones, I'm going to wear because they're just, they're shoes. These aren't as special to me. I really love the colorways on these shoes. So, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching this review. If you guys want to find out what I thought about the Rose 3s when it came to performance, you guys can go back in the backlog to my channel and look at my first review on the Rose 3s. And then, two, I eventually will be having a series come out where I go back, I compare Rose, the Rose 1s, the 2s, the 3s, the 4s, the 5s, something like that. Or at least some 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 way for you guys to see my opinion on how the line has developed as a whole. So I want to thank you all for watching this review. Until next time, guys, peace and enjoy the off at the end of the review.